Hi guys, GCX717 here with another fairy. It's been a minute. By minute, I mean like months. And I have a guest. Pinecone. Nice hesitation. Anyway, we'll make this short and sweet. Have you ever noticed how the Master Sword is all rusty? Well, we Pinecone and I came up with a theory actually concluded this is confirmed sources by us that the master sword the reason it is so rusty when you see it is because that same sword is from the wind waker hd and spoiler alert for a freaking 13 year old game that it got stuck in Ganon's head and then it got all flooded. Yeah, but when you fight <laughs> Ganon, the whole area is surrounded with water. So it got rusty because it's steel and when you put water on steel, it gets rusty. Logic, I know. So then, that, after he... The little tree creatures, no. they took off the master's horn. And no, no, they, no, you're skipping. Whenever he beat Ganon, when Ganon died... He fell into the water, and that water got all all over the sword, and it got rusty. So then, then, then the uh, Temple of Time, which is from Ocarina of Time, which was in Breath of the Wild. So Breath of the Wild is actually correct. I correct that. Ocarina of Time is a sequel to Skyward Sword because that's the same sword. As it was in Wind Waker, and Wind Waker is a sequel to Ocarina of Time, which is a prequel to Breath of the Wild. So it's Skyward Sword, then Ocarina of Time, then Wind Waker HD, then Breath of the Wild. And the reason that sword is not rusty anymore is because the great Deku tree sucked the sap, I mean water, out of the sword and gave it to all those little cocoa creature things and that's why the sword is normal and and also you forgot to mention not only does he take the bad water out of the sword but he gives it new water to make it look all wet thanks for watching let me know if i blew your mind with this mind-boggling theory that makes no sense no flaws whatsoever